good morning students welcome back good afternoon to all those who are watching me in the afternoon and good evening to all those who are watching me in the evening so class 5 today we start off with our revisions okay because we have completed the entire syllabus so in the revisions we are going to cover once again the grammar topics the literature topics and unseen prose and unseen passage all right so today what i plan to do is i plan to do four topics with you all right i plan to do four topics of english grammar with you and tomorrow's live class i am going to do uh two two topics of literature because we are going to get two live classes this week right tomorrow as well as the saturday right so i'll just read out the syllabus uh, what is there right this is our grammar book tune into grammar fine and uh, i am going to take up noun number noun gender kinds of adjective and comparison of adjective okay these are the four topics what i am going to take up today fine so please go through again it's going to be a recapitulation so all those who have missed out either the live class or have not been able to watch the audio visual clipping kindly note that please go through the audio visual clippings also go through the pdfs with the content they are already there in the students online portal secondly uh, children uh, there are many queries about question, how the question paper is going to be it is going to be the same like that of periodic assessment 1 but then the marks is going to be not 20 right it's going to be more because you know that our semester exams are always our half yearly exams are all 80 marks right so they are all going to be mcq fine we are going to have one mark and two mark question and uh, i also want to brief you children please go through the question answers the chapters the exercises the worksheets because these revision classes i am going to give you plenty of revision worksheets just in the form of multiple choice question where you have to select out of options of four fine so there won't be any doubts there wouldn't be any concern because you will get repeated practice whether it is section a which is reading related to unseen prose and unseen pa uh, passage uh, poem whether it is section b that is writing and grammar of writing as i said that i have been collecting lot many homeworks related to the paragraph and also re related to informal letter writing all those who have sent me have been all uh, all those who have emailed me i have already provided marks to you but all those who are yet to email the homework unfortunately when it comes to your notebook assessment which is going to be assessed in the form of the homeworks which you are emailing me i will not be able to give you marks so there is still time till the 10th okay there is still time till tomorrow kindly kindly go through the homework which is already there in the pdf which has been emailed and also uploaded in the students online portal go through that and email me the homework i have been regularly correcting the homework as well and by sunday i will be completing with all the corrections right now as i said the questions are all going to be mcq so you must read the chapter of literature as well because i am going to pick up one or two questions from the chapter so you must read the chapter three times again and again i am telling you you must read the poem whether it is the poem or the prose you must read it three times from my best book there are four chapters if i am not wrong okay whatever chapters have been mentioned in the syllabus there are two chapters with bracket uh, uh with reading mentioned in the bracket so do not get confused no question answers from that chapter those chapters where i have mentioned as reading means i have taken a reading activity from those two chapters so we are not going to do any reference to context we are not going to do any uh, think and answer any meanings any make sentences 
okay any answer the following questions from those two chapters right children from those two chapters where i have mentioned as reading beside them so there should be no confusions now you're totally clear what i am trying to say so there is hardly any time left children we are beginning from the 21st so it is high time get serious attend the live classes uh sit down with your books okay in the morning as well as in the evening go through the audiovisual clippings if you have stored them yes they are all already there in the portal as well please go through the chapters what have been covered by me the explanations which are given today as i said i am going to take up four chapters the next class the next audiovisual class i am going to take up four more chapters so the grammar is going to be explained like that and in the live class i am going to do literature as well as unseen prose and passage today i am going to send you a revision worksheet as well children based on these four chapters kindly note that i am going to set, send you also the answer keys with it so do not email me today's homework because the answer keys are going to be used by you to check your revisions the revisions kindly note you will have to do it in your notebook if you don't have a notebook all those children who had mailed me saying that i don't have a notebook please use a rough notebook because i think the book stores are open now the stationery shops are open so any one of you can ask somebody to get a rough notebook for you if you don't have okay or rough sheets fine if you are not able to go and get your uh notebooks from the school but eventually you will have to buy notebooks like i said we have all been busy but for my own children also i had to go and get the books so if you are not in siliguri then uh there is a problem but if you are in siliguri please take out time to go and get your notebooks as well and uh, as i said uh these exercises what i am doing today you must do it in your english grammar notebook because this is related to grammar so you must do the revision exercises in your grammar notebook you will not email me today's homework again i repeat you will not email me today's homework because today's homework is already being uploaded with the answer keys so you do the homework on your own and then use the answer keys to check use a pencil to tick and a pencil to cross if it is a mistake if there is an error in your work then do the correction so that way that will be a recapitulation and also a revision so i am beginning with the first chapter which is noun numbers okay which is noun number that is chapter number i think 5 okay that is a chapter now chapter sorry chapter number 6 this is chapter number 6 so i am going to explain to you what do you mean by noun numbers now children as the word noun means naming words isn't it just before that let me write down today's date as well i hope you will be able to see the board because i have tried to adjust again the light okay please excuse me if you are not able to see it clearly i have tried my level best to you know adjust the light as well uh today's date is 9th okay 09 2020 and today is a wednesday so the first thing what i am going to do is now number okay now number now children i hope you are able to see i hope you are able to see right now today's exercise tells us about naming words okay noun number means one and many okay a pen there are many pens in my pen holder there is a ruler in the pen holder there are many pens in the pen holder so one and many now the intricacies about one and many okay is it is singular and plural okay one and many means singular noun and plural so when a noun refers to a singular person place okay animal or thing it is known as a uh, singular noun and when many things persons place animals are referred it is known as a plural noun now about one and many children you must note 
you will see also that these tables which have been provided here are very important okay very important go through the spellings because there are certain rules isn't it like there are nouns which ends with s x okay like lens okay so lens will be uh, lens will be l e n s e s lenses so the nouns which end with s x double s c h or s h okay like for example mm, brush okay so it is going to end with b r u s h e s similarly lens lens is going to end with lenses e s okay dish s h dishes similarly dress okay d r e double s e s so all those we are ending with s s h double s okay they are going to have e s to it okay they are going to have e s to it so i will explain listen to the explanations all those who could not understand previously now similarly there are words okay there are nouns which end with z like quiz so it's going to be quizzes q u i double z yes so when you have one single z at the end you're going to add another z and es similarly words with o is going to have ending with nouns with o ending with o is going to have es like potatoes p o t a t o e s okay similarly mosquitoes the spelling is m o s q u i t o isn't it that's the singular mosquito but when it is being added with es it has to be o e s all right mosquitoes similarly those which ends with double o double o is going to have a single s after it zoo z o o s bamboos b a m b double o s right so these are the different rules which are mentioned here irregular nouns what happens there is a change in the vowel like man men women a woman women okay right tooth teeth goose geese similarly uh new words like child is going to change into children but there are certain nouns like furniture crockery you cannot add any s to it because it is the same for a singular as well as the same for a plural because together is known as furniture everything together is known as the furniture everything together all the utensils and dishes and glasses and you know spoons and fork and everything is together known as crockery similarly scissors scissors s c i okay s s o r s will be the same and it's a plural when we are talking about many scissors okay how do we say give me a pair of scissors give me two pair of scissors right so that's how it is mentioned here news the same word news will be news furniture will be furniture crockery will be crockery so this goes about singular and plural nouns right our noun number now comes noun gender now what are the four genders masculine gender feminine gender right then comes um, your common gender and neuter gender right now what is masculine gender man boy okay earl e a r l okay uh, then duke right then gentleman that is a masculine gender now what are the feminine gender feminine gender woman girl countess lady okay these are all feminine gender here are also certain rules now i am a teacher so teacher is the common gender doctor is the common gender nurse is the common gender guard is the gen common gender but you want to change it then it becomes lady guard guard okay a female guard a male guard okay 
a lady guard or a male guard okay so that's how you divide otherwise guard is a common gender now neuter gender are all non living things pen ruler pencil okay then marker fine marker this is a pen these are all uh, neuter gender n e u t e r the chair okay phone right my tripod stand these are all neuter gender because they are all non living things now there are certain rules also to these like that of singular and plural now this table also please go through these tables again i'm telling you please go through these tables now one thing you must remember children when we are doing uh, chapters on grammar don't expect that the exact question what is given in the exercise is going to come because maths and uh, grammar you need to understand the concept the questions are not going to be repeated this as that with the same uh, um, matter in it okay sorry uh, the same framing the matter is going to be the concept is going to be the same the idea is going to be the same but the question is going to differ right don't think it is going to be a photocopy of what is here because you need to understand the concept so that is why i have taken up four chapters today so noun and number and noun gender these are very easy because you have already been uh, doing this since class 3 if i am not wrong in fact class 2 class 2 was simple then little bit complex and now it the difficulty level has gradually gone up right now comes adjectives what is an adjective gargi ma'am is wearing a white sari okay gargi ma'am is wearing a round spectacle so adjectives means describing words all those words which are describing are known as adjectives now adjectives can be of various type what are the adjectives we have done we have done adjectives of quality okay gargi ma'am is a loud speaker so what is the quality of gargi ma'am she is loud okay now adjectives of quantity gargi ma'am has four markers in her hand so this is adjective of number okay how many markers four markers because you can count them gargi ma'am has some markers or many markers in her holder so this becomes adjective of quantity okay they indicate the quantity of something and number means specific gargi ma'am has two markers in her hand gargi ma'am has many markers okay in her pen holder gargi ma'am has a ruler okay in so this becomes a number many becomes a quantity right so we know what is adjective of quality we know what is adjective of number we know what is adjective of quantity that is the wide board okay this wide board see i'm closer this wide board is gargi ma'am's now that is gargi ma'am's wide board so this that these those okay they are all known as demonstrative adjectives what is demonstrative where you are showing isn't it so something which you are showing from far is that something which you are showing this is the phone so i am closer so that becomes closer is this and when there is more than one then this becomes these t h e s c and when it is far that becomes those when it's many when the number increases so that is what adjectives of uh, kinds of adjectives are so there is also like we have also come across two more adjectives which is interrogative adjective what color is she wearing she is wearing a white color so what i am asking right i am asking so adjectives that is used to ask questions what is she wearing she is wearing a spectacle okay what is she holding which book is she holding so all the wh words and how which is 
asking a question is known as interrogative adjective now adjectives that show possession that means which shows a belongingness is known as possessive adjectives like for example gargi ma'am is holding her grammar book so her is a pronoun but here it is a possessive adjective okay whose book is she holding she is holding her book right so we have done then adjectives of quality adjectives of quantity adjectives of number adject demonstrative adjective interrogative adjective and possessive adjective right so i have explained that carefully nicely now the last last is comparison and as i had been telling that this is one of my favorite chapters what is comparison when you are comparing things okay like this book is thicker than that book okay so you are comparing two things this book is thin okay this book is thin right this book is thin now this book is thinner than the literature book right this book is the thinnest book so can you see thin thinner thinnest so thin is a positive degree thinner is a, a comparative degree because you are comparing two things and when you are comparing it amongst the whole lot that becomes superlative similarly good better best these are again rules which you need to again go through when you are doing uh, you know kinds of uh, 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 not kinds comparison of adjectives you need to go through the table okay the table here you need to go through the table with the rules and also you will understand when you go through the exercise what i have given children i have given you about uh, 30 questions you know so you will get one week because the more you get a practice the better it is and seeing those 30 questions you will be able to frame your own questions when you are practicing as well okay it becomes very very easy for you to practice if you get a model or a sample of how the exercise is going to look like then it becomes easy and children don't leave out any questions okay don't leave out ha huh, subjective is not going to come so i'll not study no darling i might pick up questions from your subjective questions also so you need to know the answers thoroughly you need to read the chapter at least three times the literature chapter you need to have regular practice in grammar i have tried my level best to give you lot many questions based on multiple choice questions that will give you a, a sample in the long run to practice all right so till then i am going to take leave now children as i said there is not much time you will have to work very hard all those who have not done well who have not obtained the desired marks to score a pass percentage if you are lagging behind children you are getting another chance you are getting another option to do well yes all those who have not emailed me their homework kindly note that 10th is the last date if you don't mail it before that i'm sorry i will not give you any marks right and all those whose reading activity is still left please note that do not get worried i am still going to take it in the live classes and as usual tomorrow is a live class so i am going to do literature with you right during the live classes i am also going to take up the reading section that is unseen poem and unseen prose and whatever content whatever matter will be taught as a recapitulation exercises will be practiced with you will also be uploaded in your portal so you can always go through the portal and check that right so signing off for now bye bye see you tomorrow please ensure that you are not absent there are some children i understand due to connectivity issue are not able to log in but these classes are very very vital just before your half yearly so please note and please try your level best not to miss them okay bye once again take care see you tomorrow